now and I go to Hayward High and I'll be going to um, El, Community, El Camino Community College and uh, I'll be um, majoring in child development. Ooh. Hi, I'm Crystal White. I'm 17 years old. I attend St. Joseph's Northern High School in the fall. I'll be attending the University of San Diego where I'll be majoring in environmental science. Hello, everybody. My name is Jamal Rashid, 18 years old. Currently attending Bishop O'Dell High School. Next year, I'll be attending Morehouse College where I'll be majoring in business management. Hello, everybody. My name is Mariah Gardner. I currently go to Skyline High School. In the fall, we're going to Clark Island University to major in psychology. Hello everyone, my name is Francisco Marcia, I'm 17 years old, I go to work in the Reds, I'm going to be attending the Reds University of Wild East. Hello, my name is Jennifer Salazar, I'm 17 years old, I go to Lionel Wilson, and the fall will be attending UC Santa Barbara, major in psychology. Uh, my name is Terry Tamaris, I'm currently attending Bishop Down High School, I'm 18, and I'm going to be the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and majoring in architecture. I currently attend Island High School and right after graduation I will be enlisted in the Air Force. My name is Mariah Richardson. I attend Oakland Military Institute and in the fall we attend San Francisco State University majoring in business. Hi, my name is Jessica Torres. Mm -hmm. I attend Lionel Wilson and I will be going to UC Berkeley and majoring in biological science. Okay. I'm a graduating senior from Oakland Tech and in the fall I'll be going to San Jose State to major in business. Hello everyone, my name is Dominic Zechku, I'm 18 years old. I attend Oakland School for the Arts and I will be attending Spelman College and majoring in biological science. Hello everybody, my name is Anthony Morris, I'm 17 years old and I attend Lighthouse Community Charter School. I'll be attending Howard University and majoring in business. Right. I'm Trinity, I'm 17, I go to St. Mary's in Berkeley. I'll be attending UCLA and majoring in communication. Hi, my name is Jasmine Drakeford. I'm 17 years old. I attend Bishbada High School and in the fall I'll be going to Fresno State, majoring in international, <laughs> international relations. My name is Tanea Taplin. I'm 19 years old. I attend Advanced Path Academy in Oakland and I will be attending Clark Atlanta University as a major of college. Hello, I'm Leon J. Stansbury. I go to Westville High. I'm 18 and in the fall, I'll be going to Landing for Culinary Arts. All right. Hello, my name is Tamia Russell. I'm 18, and I attend Impact Academy in Hayward, California. Um, next year, I will be attending Expression College and majoring in South Park. Hi, my name is Melinda Montrosa, and I currently attend LPS College Park in Castlemont. And um, um, next in fall, I will plan on going to Mary College and major in biology. Hi, everybody. <laughs> My name is Chanel Middleton. I'm 18 years old. I graduated from Bishop Dow High School last year, and I just finished my first year at Marquette University, majoring in physical therapy. Yeah. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Rodney Horn. I'm a junior biology major at Morehouse College. And I graduated from Penn Okay. Um, I'm Lenique Howard, or you could just call me Nika. I started at YDC when I was in eighth grade. I graduated from UC Berkeley last year. Um, since then, I've been traveling around Europe and Africa. I did that for six months. I've been back at UC Berkeley. Um, I'm a counselor apprentice right now. In the fall, I'll be starting a PhD program in social welfare at the University of Wisconsin Madison. Congratulations and thank you for inviting me. My name is Justin Davis. I work at the Mitchell K. Port Foundation. And you guys are a grant recipient of yours. And uh, I just want to say awesome job to all of you. I'm just very glad to see all of you doing amazing and fantastic things and here to celebrate with you. My name is Tamara Moore. I just want to say congratulations again. I am so delighted to be here celebrating this special moment with you. And to much is given, much is due. And so we have high expectations of all of you all. And we know that you will be a shining success and a representation of your lead here, Regina. So thank you for having me. The Pathway to College program, for those of you that don't know, um, actually came out of an observation and an idea. EOYDC always supported its young people, but the only program we had for you all in terms of education was GED. And that was because there was a, such a significant dropout rate. 
it occurred to us that there were a lot of young people who were going to college. Most of them were first generation, and they needed a helping hand. And so we quickly put a plan together to create Pathway to College. And what started out with six young people in 2005, um, in a coordinated fashion, has grown into a program that's serving 400 young people from middle school to postgraduate work. A lot of you, sorry, a lot of you I have known for more than five, some ten years, some even more than that. Your EOYDC's pride and joy. Many of you are going across the country to continue in your exceptional youth leadership because y'all know that that's what you are first and foremost. You are academicians in process of contributing substantially to some career. But as you know, we've trained you to lead wherever you go and to give back to community wherever you are. A lot of talk going on in the world, particularly focused on men and boys of color. Now, EOYDC has been doing big things for our boys for a long time. But we have engaged in a couple of things that we've never done before. So in January, uh, some of our young men went to the Assembly Select Committee on Men and Boys of Color and gave testimony. Out of that, a couple of our kids have assembly bills. One is a girl. So we'll, we'll speak to the men and boys of color piece first, and then we will introduce our other assembly bill um, creator or visionary. I like coming to men and boys of color. So I gave testimony. <laughs> and so um, basically at the event, um, the, there was this thing, basically what you think should be a law. And so for my idea, I thought that there should be something that educates the youth about uh, the consequences of their actions and teaching them basically the rights, like the rights they would have if, um, if they would get pulled over or stopped by the police. And um, with the consequences then, basically I found out that if you get into an altercation, whoever throws the first punch, that's a felony now. So most of our youth, they don't know that nowadays. So I started thinking like, if they don't know that, they can get into a lot of trouble. So, um, my idea was to have like billboards or signs around the city, basically, uh, you know, it's kind of like if you do this, this can happen, yeah. stuff like that. So um, having signs around the city, educating youth, and having people come to like our youth centers and schools to help educate the kids. And so we got turned into uh, a bill, it's a bill AB 2565, and if it gets passed, it'll be a law. My proposition was that children should be suspended out of school. It should be an ending in school suspension because kids should, shouldn't be out of school, especially if it's a low performance school. Yeah. Our bill is AB 2300, and if it gets passed, we'll be able to. Um, so, recent, well, first, I'm in this a cappella group called Vocal Rush from my school. It's 11 members. And um, we recently went to the international competition of high school a cappella, and we won first place, being the first all minority group, the first all girl group, and we were a wild card finalist. So we actually placed second at the semifinals, and it was out of the top ten a cappella groups in the country. We happen to have one of our track and field phenoms with us tonight. So she went to France. <laughs> Yeah, you got to win. <laughs> the World Youth Champion! Okay. Well, all I got to say to you is this, just stay moving forward, because when you're ready for life, life will be ready for you. So it doesn't have to happen tomorrow, it doesn't have to happen in your first semester, second, you don't have to go to school that first year, but when you're ready for life, life will be ready for you. So just put all your ducks in a row and get ready to knock them down. It's the most important thing I learned in college. It was the, uh, the ability to network, how important networking is, I guess, to, um, to I guess, give yourself a brand. I also included to create a solid brand of yourself. Um, and it will open a variety of options for you. 
You're going to be in college now, but that doesn't mean that you have to have all the answers. And don't believe the people who pretend that they do. Change your mind, change your mind again, and change it again after that. Figure out who you really are. Join a random club, take a class strictly for fun, dream big, and then turn those dreams into reality. On behalf of all the graduating seniors of the Pathway College, I'd really just like to thank Mr. Gina, EYC, and Ms. Jasmine for basically helping us in the college process. I know for me, EYC really helped me become a better man, whether it be you know, making great friends and great connections. I got my three brothers over here. Um, EYC has really influenced my path on going to college. Sitting here crying because I've seen a lot of you all walk around the hallways from the time you were younger, and uh, I'm emotional because I'm also a native Oaklander, and I'm always proud of young people to come out of my city. So wherever you guys go, you represent us, and you've already done a major achievement by beating the odds. Everybody always talks about Oakland, and Oakland has the, all these problems, but you are representative of the fact that you are the stars that come out of this city. You are the diamonds in the midst of the dust. So wherever you go, hold your head up and be proud. And if, in fact, you have to stumble, get back up and just try again. Okay? Congratulations.